This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by GoToMeeting. So many tech rumors, what you gonna do? Lots of them are fake, but some just might come true. You need someone to make sense of it for you. We're Techno Buffalo and that's what we do. So here we go, let's round them up, woohoo! Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to the Rumor Roundup. My name is, well, it's not Jay-Z or Kanye, that's for sure. My name is Noah Kravitz, I'm editor-at-large for Techno Buffalo, and this is your Rumor Roundup for the week ending today, Friday, April 27th, 2012. First up, hot on the heels of yet another impressive earnings call, Apple has announced Worldwide Developers Conference will begin June 11th in San Francisco. The conference is already sold out, and rumor is Apple will be announcing something new that will probably make them money. More on that story at as it develops. In other mobile phone news, Samsung is preparing to take the wraps off of the newest in their successful lineup of Galaxy smartphone devices. May 3rd in London is the time and the place for the latest installment of the Galaxy line. Anyway, the rumors and leaks are flying around fast and furious, uh, and this week our own Killian Bell reported on another leak coming from a Chinese forum site of a purported prototype Galaxy S3, or whatever they're going to call it, flying around in a dummy case. The case featured a physical home button as opposed to a capacitive touch button and was generally not very attractive which makes us all believe here at the Buffalo that this is not what the next Samsung device is actually going to look at but the software was interesting because it, it continues the trend of Samsung taking ice cream sandwich Android 4 and Samsung's own TouchWiz UI and meshing them together but changing some things around including adding more on-screen virtual software buttons within the different Android apps so we'll have to see what Samsung has in in store. There's some rumors kicking around that they may not actually call the device the Galaxy S3. There are also some crazy rumors about uh, it's actually not going to be a phone. It's going to be like another Galaxy Note. I don't think that's going to come true. I think we're going to see the successor to the Galaxy S2, whatever they call it, May 3rd in London. So stick around for that. Speaking of Samsung smartphones, there's a rumor that the phablet, otherwise known as the Galaxy Note, that giant 5.3 inch clown phone that John Rettinger likes to carry around. The Galaxy Note currently available in the U.S. on on AT&T and rumors have surfaced pointing to the Galaxy Note coming to T-Mobile in uh, a version with radios to support T-Mobile's HSPA Plus implementation of 4G as opposed to AT&T's LTE implementation of Eh, more like actual 4G. Our own Todd Hazelton reporting earlier this week that there are no specifics regarding a possible launch date or price for the Note on T-Mobile. But uh, Todd makes the good point that these rumors are, are surfacing just in time to build up a little bit of steam headed into the CTA conference out in New Orleans, Louisiana next month. Techno Buffalo will be on the scene from the Big Easy. We'll be back in a moment to talk about what a little bird who hangs out with Snoopy, a bunch of music-loving hippies in the 60s, and Microsoft Xbox have in common. But first, a word from our sponsor. You know, being able to attach a face to a name is important. It enhances our relationships and the way that we do business. But unfortunately, meeting all of your clients and colleagues in person can be impossible, especially if you work at a place like Techno Buffalo, where we've got people literally all around the globe. That's why I recommend GoToMeeting with HD Faces. GoToMeeting by Citrix allows you to collaborate on files and plans online. And with HD Faces, all you need is a webcam to turn your meetings into into HD group video conferences. You can even participate on the go using the built-in camera on the iPad. Just download the free GoToMeeting app to join. With GoToMeeting by Citrus, it just takes a webcam and a click to collaborate in group HD video. You can see your attendees eye to eye while collaborating on documents in real time. You'll feel instantly connected even if you're thousands of miles apart. Plus, GoToMeeting is so easy to use. iPad users can just download the GoToMeeting app and join in. I love GoToMeeting because in my work, I rarely get to see the people I work with every day. Like I said, we're all over the world. So GoToMeeting lets me see their faces online on my computer or on my iPad. Start hosting your own face-to-face -face meetings today with GoToMeeting. Techno Buffalo viewers can try it for free for 30 days. 
To get this special offer, visit gotomeeting.com. Click on the Try It Free button and enter the promo code TECHNO. Again, be sure to use the promo code TECHNO to get your free 30-day trial. Last but certainly not least, Snoopy's best friend is a little bird named Woodstock. A bunch of hippies got together to listen to music at Woodstock. And at E3 2012, Microsoft may be unveiling Project Woodstock. Reports this week are all pointing to a major announcement at E3 2012 from Microsoft having to do with the next step in the evolution of their music service. Apparently, the service formerly known as Zune will be shifting its place of residence to Xbox Live. The project is apparently said to be called Woodstock and will be bringing the Zune subscription music service and the whole Zune experience more into the Xbox fold. One of the interesting things here, though, is that Microsoft is going to make this a cross-platform play. So in addition to making Zune available for Xbox, and we would presume Windows Phone, the service is said to also be launching for iOS and Android, much like Spotify and others in the hot music subscription space, Woodstock is said to somehow work its magic so that it doesn't require browser plugins, but does deeply integrate with Facebook. And there's some sort of scan and match feature being talked about. I don't know how you scan a song. Maybe it has to do with QR codes. Maybe it's like Shazam. I don't know. Anyway, look for more, including the official launch, if the rumors are to be believed, from Microsoft about the next generation of its music service at E3 2012 later this year. I'm going to make up another rhyme on the fly. It's my way of saying goodbye. I'm that spectacled and bald-headed guy bringing you all the news. Na -na -na. I see I lost it right there. The whole time I was thinking, like, what's going to rhyme with I again? I don't know. Rumor Roundup, hosted by me. Thanks to our friends at GoToMeeting. What rhymes with ing? Ding-a-ling-a-wing. See you later.